just the right amount of caffeinated today. It is about the middle of April. We're moving at the end of May and I have a ton of oats in my house. So we're going to go through today, make a couple of recipes to get rid of some of these oats so that I'm not having to lug them with me whenever we move. The first thing that I'm doing today is going to be making some overnight oats and then we're going to make some edible oatmeal raisin cookie dough. The first thing that I'm gonna do is move this lid out from under that bowl because it's not cute. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is add one banana to my bowl. I am gonna make a double recipe just because this is gonna be for me and for the girls. I would make more than this, but this is the only banana that I have in the house right now and it's looking pretty beat up. So we're gonna add that to our bowl and then mash away. Then I've got a cup of milk. So, cup of milk, cup of oats, cup of yogurt. It's not quite a cup because I have something else that I wanna make with this, but you know, it's close enough. And two teaspoons of chia seeds. Gonna mix this up. And this will be breakfast for me and the girls for at least a day, maybe two. When we eat this, I'll probably top it with some pecans that I've got in the fridge. That sounds delicious and likely some maple syrup too. So all done with that. Let me just get down here. Okay, we're going to now make some edible oatmeal raisin cookie dough. Super excited about this. Let's get started. All right, so I have half a cup of flour here. I did microwave this until it got to 180. If you're gonna cook the flour in the microwave, make sure that you are checking it often because the first time I tried this, I definitely burnt it. To this half a cup of flour, I'm going to add half a cup of one minute oats, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. This is a fourth of a teaspoon, so I'm gonna add one heaping and then one little extra. I like cinnamon. Fourth a teaspoon of baking powder. Fourth a teaspoon of salt. A third of a cup light brown sugar. And a fourth of a cup of white sugar. I'm realizing now that I was supposed to beat the sugar and the butter and the yogurt together, but we're not doing that. So here you go. I'm gonna mix all of this together. All right, now to this, I'm gonna add four tablespoons of my favorite plant butter, one tablespoon of yogurt, and then half a teaspoon of vanilla is what the recipe calls for, but I measure vanilla with my heart. I'm gonna mix it all together with my hand mixer, and because I didn't follow the directions and this is a small ball, it's probably gonna make a mess, but you know what, I'm here for it. is not coming together how it's supposed to, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more yogurt, see if it helps. This may be a failed experiment, but you know, that is much more dough-like, so now I'm gonna add in these raisins. I did soak them, and then this will be ready for this afternoon snack. I'm actually gonna roll these into balls to make them easier to eat. So here these are, I'm gonna pop them in the fridge to chill for a couple hours and then we'll have them for a snack. I've tasted the like melty bits and they're delicious. Good morning, it's Saturday and I'm blocking the coffee and people are making a lot of noise that is unnecessary. And we're gonna make oatmeal for the girls, not me because I'm totally out of non-dairy no, ingredients. No, no, Let's go. No, no, no. Oatmeal pancake. We're starting off with two tablespoons of avocado oil, three quarters of a cup of yogurt. This is what you use for your brown sugar, right? 
don't Yeah, it is. Half a cup of milk. That's a good memory. Two cups of oats. One. Two eggs. Three tablespoons of honey. A teaspoon of vanilla. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Maybe a little more. A tablespoon of baking powder. I don't have a tablespoon handy, so three teaspoons will do it. And half a teaspoon of salt. We're going to blend this until just smooth, and then I'll heat up my griddle. Let's make what my small helper has just dubbed Flippy Flippies. leftovers from this morning the girls and my husband ate seven of these this made 12 pancakes and my husband said they were pretty good girls said they were pretty good they got eaten and we've got leftovers for tomorrow so fantastic little recipe I haven't even made a dent really in the oats that are in my pantry so I'm just gonna be making these recipes on repeat until we move I hope you found something that you could take into your kitchen and give a shot have a great day and I'll see you next time